Namaskar. Welcome to India Meteorological Department. Myself, Dr. M.T. Bushair, presenting daily weather briefing. First, let's look into the past 24 hour weather. So, as IMD predicted, heavy to very heavy rainfall was observed over Kerala Mahi, coastal Karnataka, North India Karnataka, and uh, uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh and Yanam, and West Rajasthan. Heavy rainfall was observed from South India Karnataka, Telangana, Gangetic West Bengal, Odisha, Bihar, Assam, Meghalaya, Tribura, Marathwada, Madhya Maharashtra, Uttarakhand, West Madhya Pradesh, and Gujarat region. Extremely rainfall also observed, that is, rainfall greater than 20 cm is observed from Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Karakal, and also over Konkan and Goa. In addition to that, thunderstorm accompanied with a gusty or squally wind with a speed of 40 to 80 kmbh was also observed from Himachal Pradesh. Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Konkan and Goa, Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Maharashtra, Rayal Sima, Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Karekal and Kerala and also our uh, Karnataka. So coming to the uh, discussion over the advancement of the Southwest Monsoon. So currently the Southwest Monsoon has advanced to the major part of the uh, Arabian Sea. So currently the northern limit of the monsoon passes through the Mumbai, Pune, Sholapur, Kalaburgi, Mahbubnagar, Kawai and, uh, and, and our Agartala, Gobalpura over the northeastern parts. So conditions are favorable for the further advancement of the southwest monsoon into the remaining parts of Central Arabian Sea, some more parts of the Maharashtra, remaining parts of Karnataka, some more parts of Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, some parts of Chhattisgarh and Odisha and most parts of West Central and some more parts of North uh, Bay of Bengal and the remaining parts of Northeastern states and some more parts of the western west bengal and sikkim during next two to three days so coming to the synoptic systems that we observed today morning so there was a cyclonic circulation over northwest and adjoining west central bay of bengal under its influence a low pressure area has formed over the northwest of bay of bengal of odisha coast as of today morning so the associated cyclonic circulation extends up to 7.6 km above mean sea level and it is tilting southwestwards with height. It is likely to move slowly northward and become more parked during next 48 hours. Yeah, a fresh western disturbance in the middle tropospheric westerlies with its axis 5.8 km above mean sea level run roughly along 60 degree east north of latitude 30 degree north. Under its influence, we are expecting weather from 29th uh, uh, May. The cyclonic circulation lies over South Chhattisgarh and adjoining Vidarbha at 1.5 km above mean sea level. And another cyclonic circulation lies over central parts of West Madhya Pradesh and size circulation extending up to 1.5 km above mean sea level. And an prior cyclonic circulation seen over northeast Assam and neighborhood uh, at 1.5 km above mean sea level. And another cyclonic circulation lies over west Assam and neighborhood at 3.1 km above mean sea level. A shear soar run roughly along latitude of 17 degree north over the Indian region between 3.1 and 7.6 km above mean sea level, tilting southwards with height. An upper air cyclonic circulation lies over North Kongan and adjoining East Central Arabian Sea at 1.5 above mean sea level. Under influences, we are expecting weather in coming days. Coming to the highlights of the presentation, as I mentioned, a low pressure area has formed over Northwest Bay of Bengal of Odisha coast. It is likely to become more marked in coming days. Heavy to very heavy rainfall likely to continue over west coast, mainly over Kerala, Karnataka, west, west coastal Maharashtra and Goa during next six to seven days with the possibility of extremely heavy rainfall over Kerala in next four days and over Kongan and Kongan Ghat area of Madhya Maharashtra, coastal uh, and Ghat area of Karnataka and Ghat area of Tamil Nadu on today. A fresh western disturbance likely to affect northwest India from 29th May. So coming to the uh, maximum temperature that observed on yesterday. So the yesterday the maximum temperature were in the range of 40 to 45 degree in few parts of West Rajasthan, in isolated uh, parts of East Rajasthan and East Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat state. So yesterday the maximum temperature was observed from the Balmer, Rajasthan, it was 45.2 degree. The uh, maximum temperature departure was uh, below normal over the uh, major parts of the country except over Jammu and Kashmir. It was negative value from the normal over most part of the country. So coming to the forecast of temperature, so we are expecting a rise by 2 to 3 degrees Celsius in maximum temperature likely over northwest India during next two days and a gradual fall by 2 to 4 degrees Celsius thereafter. That is for next 4-5 days. 
So no significant change in maximum temperature likely over central India during next to three days and we are expecting a gradual rise by two to three degrees Celsius for next four days. No significant change in maximum temperature likely over East India for next five days. Thereafter we are expecting a rise by two to three degrees Celsius. No significant change in maximum temperature likely over rest parts of the country. So coming to the weather warning issued for today, as I mentioned in my previous slides, extremely heavy rainfall uh, that is greater uh, rain, rainfall greater than 20 centimeter is likely to occur over western west coast of the India that is uh, over Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kongan and Goa and also over Madhya Maharashtra on today. Very heavy rainfall likely to occur over Odisha and heavy rainfall likely to occur over Gujarat. Saurashtra Kach and also over Andaman Nicobar Islands and over North and our Northeasters like uh, Assam Meghalaya and also over NMMT. Thunderstorm accompanied with uh, uh, gusty winds likely to occur over most parts of the country except our Uttar, Uttar Pradesh and uh, SSWB and Sikkim. So heat wave likely to occur over uh, West Rajasthan and Jammu Kashmir on today. So coming to the warnings issued for day 2 that is for 28th May 2025 extremely heavy rainfall likely to occur over Kerala and coastal Karnataka and also over NMMT. Very heavy rainfall likely to occur over Tamil Nadu, uh, remaining parts of the Karnataka that is uh, North India Karnataka and South India Karnataka, Marathwada, Telangana, Odisha and also over Assam Meghalaya. Heavy rainfall likely to occur over Gujarat and also over Saurashtra Kach, uh, Gangetic West Bengal, Arunachal Pradesh and also over Uttarakhand that is for, 20, that is for 28th May. Thunderstorm and lightning accompanied with the gusty winds likely to occur major parts of the country except over East Uttar Pradesh and uh, sub Himalayan West Bengal. Coming to the warnings issued for 29th May, so uh, extremely heavy rainfall likely to continue over uh, Kerala and, uh, and uh, likely to occur over uh, Assam Meghalaya and very heavy rainfall likely to continue over Tamil Nadu, South, South India Karnataka, Coastal Karnataka and Konkan and Goa, Telangana, Odisha, Gangetic West Bengal, sub Himalayan West Bengal and also over uh, uh, NMMT. Coming to the heavy rainfall warnings issued uh, for 29th May, it is likely to occur over Assam Meghalaya, Uttarakhand, Gujarat region, Saurashtra Kach. Marathwada and North India Karnataka and also over Chhattisgarh and, and Chhattisgarh and Jharkhand. Thunderstorm, lightning, gusty winds likely to occur, likely to occur over uh, most part of the country except over Andaman Nicobar Islands. Coming to the warnings issued for day 4 that is for 30th May. Heavy rainfall likely to continue over Tamil Nadu, South India Karnataka, North India Karnataka and coastal Karnataka and also over Kongan Goa. And coming to the uh, eastern parts, heavy rainfall likely to occur over uh, Odisha, Jharkhand and Assam Meghalaya on 30th May. Thunderstorm lightning activity with gusty wind speeds uh, greater than 30 km per hour likely to occur major parts of the country that is highlighted in yellow and orange color except over Gujarat region, Marathwada, uh, Madhya Maharashtra, Lakshadweep and Andaman Nicobar Islands. Coming to the warnings issued for day 5, very heavy rainfall likely to occur over Kerala and Arna, Assam Meghalaya and NMMT and uh, very heavy rainfall likely to occur over Tamil Nadu, coastal Karnataka and uh, um, Kongan Goa, Uttarakhand and also over Himachal Pradesh and in the north and northeastern states is likely to occur over Arunachal Pradesh. Thunderstorm lightning activity also likely to occur over major parts of the country. Coming to the warnings issued for day 6 that is for June 1st, uh, very heavy rainfall likely to continue over Kerala, Tamil Nadu, coast, uh, coastal Karnataka, South India Karnataka, Kongan and Goa and our entire northeastern states, uh, uh, Bihar and thunderstorm lightning activity also likely to occur over northern parts of the country and, or, and, uh, and uh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and in the north, uh, northeastern states on June 1st and coming to the warnings issued for June 2nd, very heavy rainfall likely to continue over Kerala, Tamil Nadu, South India, Karnataka, Coastal Karnataka and Kongan Goa and in the northern states it is likely to occur over Assam Meghalaya and Uttarakhand. Thunderstorm lightning activity also likely to occur over western Himalayan regions 
and also over the uh, sub pockets over the uh, northeastern states now coming to the warnings issued for kerala district wise warning issued over kerala so last few days in kerala extremely heavy rainfall is uh, happening and it is likely to continue in next uh, few days so over uh, to for today extremely rain, heavy rainfall likely to occur over northern districts like uh, kannur kozhikode and vayanad and heavy very heavy rainfall is likely to occur over uh, likely to continue over uh, uh, remaining districts except uh, except uh, tiruvannadapuram kollam and alappuzha and tomorrow also extremely heavy rainfall likely to occur over kerala and vayanad and day 3 that is for 25th may uh, extremely heavy rainfall likely to occur over southern districts like pattanamthitta uh, pattanamthitta uh, kottayam etc and on day 4 also extremely heavy rainfall likely to occur over northern districts as well as the southern districts so on day 5 that is over 31st may there may be a slight reduction in the heavy rainfall um, for day 5 very heavy rainfall is issued for northern districts like kasargod kannur and kozhikode coming to the warnings issued for the karnataka for day 1 and day 2 over mainly over the coastal region of the karnataka extremely heavy rainfall is issued for day 1 and day 2 we advise public over these regions to be more to be updated with the warnings and issued uh, warnings and forecast issued by the uh, imd and the state authorities and be uh, stay we advise the public over this region to be updated with the warnings and forecast issued by imd and to be stay safe and this is a fisherman gra- fisherman warnings issued for next uh, 5 days over this marked regions uh, fishermans are advised not to venture because of the bad weather we will come tomorrow with uh, updated forecast and warning till then namaskar